Hi everyone, welcome to my next little video blog. <laughs> and this one is about, um, I guess, looking at gratitude. Um, gratitude is a term that has been banded around for a long time, many, many years, particularly since the New Age movement. And we're all uh, told we you know, need to develop more gratitude. But um, it is actually really important, and I uh, just thought I'd do a little vlog about that and share my uh, view on that, and yeah, and how it's actually impacted on my life, I guess. Um, I mean, it's actually proven that focusing on gratitude actually increases our feelings of love and empathy and feelings of joy, appreciation, and optimism. And uh, it all contributes to being becoming more resilient. Um, so what do we have to be grateful for when things are actually going really badly? It's really hard to think of things that we're grateful for. But I, I like to remind myself that actually I'm uh, dependent on everybody for everything, um, even my body. Like I didn't even make my body. My parents made my body and mostly my mother made my body. My mother made my body. Um, so I, don't, I can't even say that I, I made that. Like my clothes I, I bought, somebody made them. The cushions, like somebody made them. Even I painted the canvas behind us on the wall, but I didn't make the canvas, I didn't make the paints, I didn't make the brushes. So if we just look for a start at, you know, say, let's say, you know, our breakfast. So let's say we're having a bowl of muesli for breakfast. So if we look at the bowl with the muesli and we pour the milk in, like, where did the milk come from? I, I didn't, definitely didn't make the milk. Um, who who, who uh, then brought the milk to the, to the uh, shop uh, where I could buy it to put on? Like, who made the container? Who, um, who made the bowl? Who made the table the bowl was sitting on? I didn't make that. Uh, how about the muesli, you know, like the oats, the, the bran, the dried fruit, the seeds, like they all came from somewhere. There's, there's probably a thousand people involved in the table, making the table, cutting down the tree, making the table, putting it in the shop for me to buy it, like the bowl, making the bowl, glazing the bowl. Um, all of the ingredients, growing them, harvesting them, um, like growing the fruit, drying the fruit, like the whole thing. There's nothing in there that I've done. I've done nothing. I need to, if not a thousand people, certainly several hundred. That's, and that's just my breakfast and the table that my breakfast is sitting on. But as I say, my clothes, my body, my glasses, you know, there's, there's, I, I haven't done anything to receive all of these wonderful things except to pay for them or maybe they're a gift. But how do we, and, and people will say, well, well, yeah, but how do we know that, you know, that person, you know, who made the bowl, well, they're, they're just doing it for money. You know, the person who made the table, well, they're just making money. It's their job, they're getting paid. But how do we actually know that? We don't know what's in someone's mind when they're making something that is for other people. The person who made this, uh, who's drying the fruit, they may well have thought, oh, I hope that uh, when people eat this, they will feel uh, really well. You know, it gives them energy. Or, you know, so we really don't know. And if we think about everything in our lives, like our clothes, our, the house we live in, the carpets on the floor, the, everything, even the food, we go to the supermarket and we've not, even if we buy food and, and cook it, we can say, well, I cooked it. Yeah, well, who made the saucepan? Where did we get the saucepan from? What about the knives and forks or the spoon, the serviette? Like, so many people. So we really, I think, we need to be grateful to everybody because we have no idea who has, who works in what, in what area of life and who have contributed to my life, you know, on, on putting on the power on making the wiring, on building the, the apartment, the, the house where I live, like, you know, like the paint on the walls, where did that come from? So really, if we read a book, like who, who, you know, the tree, we need to go for the tree, for the person who cut, cut down the, the trees for the paper and then made the paper and then printed the book and then put the, the binding, 
Like, where did the ink come from? So there's, there's pretty well nothing in our lives, even, as a, even our body, as I say, that we don't need to be grateful for. We need to be grateful for everything in our lives and, and to everybody. We have actually, as independent as I think I am and self-sustaining, I'm actually not. I'm kidding myself. There's nothing that I have or own that I actually made. And even if I did, if I made a dress, the fabric came from somewhere. You know, the needles came from somewhere. People made them. So, as independent as I like to think I am, I actually am not. So, yeah, that helps me to be uh, more grateful. And uh, I think the more grateful we are, the more aware of how other people have made a, a huge impact on our lives, um, once we have that, I think we, we feel a little bit more, um, I think it's grounding, I think it's kind of satisfying, we feel like, um, yeah, we feel humble, we feel connected. Um, so gratitude, developing gratitude is, is, um, is realistic on one level, but it's really helpful as well, it helps us to be um, yeah, just, just happier, more joyful, empathetic to other people, um, and of course, uh, appreciate everything and everyone. And people say to me, well, I, I actually, you know, if they can't get their heads around that, and they think, well, I don't know, I don't really, things are really bad for me at the moment, and this has happened, this has happened, and, but what I say to them is, is um, if you just feel your hand like this, put your hand on your pulse, you know, we're alive, we're alive. And I know, I was working for a short period a few years ago as a Buddhist, ch Buddhist chaplain and uh, got to visit people that were dying in palliative care. And what they would have given for just one more minute, hour, day, week, month of life that, that they no longer have. I visited a man for a while, he had a brain tumour. And towards the end, I felt sorry about leaving because he could see me leave out of his window, get into my car and go home. Whereas he was stuck in the bed and he could look at his shoes on the floor knowing he would never put them on again. He would never wear those shoes again. He couldn't stand. So, yeah, that helps me too, remembering that I'm still breathing. I'm still here. I can walk. I can talk. Um... And uh, the world's my oyster.